Well, good day! And, uh, I'd just like you to, uh, before I continue my little opening, I'd just like you to. Here. This is that. Yep. Got my sound back. Woo! So, welcome. This is episode 6 of Let's Play The Neverhood, and I am Caboose478 with you here. I'm excited. Now, this first episode of, uh, you know, audio again, is gonna be, a little, like, a little lag. Uh, I don't know if it's gonna be like that in the rest of the episodes. Uh, but my computer's just acting kind of slow at the moment, so... There is a small bit of lag, but hopefully you can get over that. Now, before I talk about anything else, this is, um, this is a slide puzzle. Or, not a slide puzzle, but like a matching kind of puzzle. Uh, but as you can see, there's a lot, and if you get a match, uh, and get the next one wrong, they all go away. But that's not what you want to do. You want to get down a piece of paper... And holy shit, where's mine? Um, let's not have that thrown out. That suck ass. Did they throw out my piece of paper? Awesome. Ah. Uh, damn it. That kid. I don't think I need it. Hope I don't need it. Um. Uh, I'll look for that later. Ah, uh, shit. Well, um. Say, so all you need to do. Just write down, like, draw a picture of each, like, pic- Like, draw a picture of each picture. And, um, what you want to do is you want to write down every time you see that picture. And, uh, when you're done, they should all be an even number. And, uh, we'll get- we'll get, uh, back to that actually in a little bit. I think we're getting back to that right now, actually. Um, <clears throat> man, so, uh, I'm sure you've noticed that, well, there's a kind of- we weren't exactly where we were at the end of the last episode, and I know that there's a slight problem. Uh, some some stuff went wrong. I don't really want to go into detail. Uh, but we kind of I kind of screwed up, and now I can't go back to uh, the beginning of the last episode. So all you need to know is honestly, the last episode was nothing but me doing screw ups and stuff. Uh, and I just got into that room that we just left, and all I did was push a projector from one side of the room all the way to the other. So that's all you need to know. Uh, just keep walking to the left until you get to a uh, part with the projector, and then just push it over to where that mouse was. Hit the button, you'll be good to go. Um, now, I actually realized not too long ago. Um, I just realized that. Uh, well, another thing I realized is that I cannot find my CD case, uh, which I'm gonna be really pissed if I do not have any more. Cause I'm kind of getting all these done really quickly. Not so much because I want to get it done. I mean, I obviously want to get this done and do it. Because uh, I love this game and I want to see it and stuff. And as, as uh, it seems everyone likes the game, uh, it's been taken pretty well. So uh, that that's a good thing. But yeah, we're getting work done in my basement, so I won't be able to record. And that starts Saturday, so I want to get the entire thing done by Saturday. Now, this is another thing you want to take note of right here. These uh, three... Uh, and it looks like there's four, but that little, uh, like, colored up box is part of the first image. But you want to write those down, uh, because they're going to help us in that cannon puzzle, if you remember that. There was the, uh, the three other pictures we couldn't fill in yet, and those are the three pictures. So, uh, I'm gonna head to that now, but I did get quite lost in, uh, in my travels of, uh, teleportation. <laughs> As you'll be able to see. Um, so, uh, what was the thing I want to say? Oh, um, so as you can see, we have a new background, which is fa fantabulous. Super duper, amazing, awesome. All the, uh, the words of, uh, enjoyment or whatever. Uh, and actually, uh, before I say anything, we are not going right to the canyon yet. We have to do one more thing really quickly. But, hold on. That is the sound, um, and then that's how you click up and look at Willy, and then he drops the plan on you. So I just wanted you to hear that. So if you hear that, that's where it's coming from. You can just turn around and look up, and you can go through the animation. Uh, so, <clears throat> this is where uh, you, all those pictures come in handy. It's going to ask you for, like, the number of each time you saw everything. Uh, so that little, like, french fry box I saw six times, the crown guy I saw six times, and the skull guy I saw six times. Of course, 666, you know, that's always an awesome thing. And again, this whole, this whole puzzle that I just solved right here is also always going to be random. 
so it will not. It will always be different sets of pictures, and it'll always add, and the, the, the number will always be different. So uh, definitely make sure you take note of that. Don't just walk up to them and be like six 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 and get it right, because you will not do that. Uh, so now I think we're going to the cannon. But as I was uh, as I was saying before, and I completely lost thought of what I was saying. Oh yeah, our background. So. We got a new background, uh, and it's an amazing background. I am obsessed with it now. I love it. Uh, in fact, it got me back into my Proto Man obsession. Yes, I've been obsessed with Proto Man for quite a long time, but I'll get back into that in a little bit. Um, so, the creator of this background was not me or Paper... Nor me. Or me. Ah, I'm screwing up my words. It was not me, nor was it Paper Mario guy. In fact... It was a guy we know called Cuckoo on Fire. Now, not only does he make backgrounds and all that fun stuff, um, I guess that's kind of just like a side thing he likes to do. He made his own, by the way. That's really cool. It's cool looking. I mean, um, also, you know, don't bug him for backgrounds because I'm sure he doesn't really want that. Um, unless he does, I, I don't know. I don't know if he does or not. But I mean, don't don't do that. Do not bug him in case any of you really wanted a new background um we didn't actually ask him what happened was uh pmg was just like where did you uh who made that background for you and he said he made it and i think he offered to make us one so that was really cool of him because uh it looks great uh and uh i really want to thank who gone fire i'll put his link to his channel in the bottom bar it's no longer the sidebar uh -huh. But as you can see, though, uh, when we pulled that string, it brought us all the way back down here. So that's why you don't want to pull it uh, when we originally went through that room, because then it just bring you all the way down here, and you'd have to get small again, and it would just not be fun. Uh, so in this room, as you can see, the door is locked. Uh, so what you're going to want to do is you want to go over the radio. And this one's a really tricky puzzle, too, actually. And you want to keep turning it. <clears throat> it has to go through the animation again. You want to keep turning it. Uh, I'm kind of doing it kind of slowly. Uh, until you see that light. Now, I happen to get really lucky, and that the light would always be basically at the end. So all I had to do is just hold until it got to the end. But it won't always be that way, because it also varies uh, on the song that you need to do to open the door to get to the bobby machine. Uh, so that will change everything. But yeah, that is kind of a tricky puzzle. Uh, I wouldn't expect most people to kind of get that on their own. Like the other puzzle, but I think the other puzzle is even worse. Uh, that that cowbell one, where you had to like pull on the cowbell string. I, I think that that's an even more annoying puzzle. That's just I think that was honestly kind of like cruel of the creators to put that in there. Just like, ah, screw it, throw that in there. Um, but I just realized I was trying to talk about something before that. Uh, the Neverhood is actually rated T. I didn't know that originally, and I mean you can kind of see why. There's like cat things like being crushed and throwing up and. Weasels exploding. So, I mean, I wouldn't really think of it as T, more of like an E plus 10, but that rating was create was not created yet, so understandable. Uh, but, so yeah, Kugo on Fire is super awesome. Um, and another thing I want to get into, I don't know if I'll get through it all in this these 10 minutes, but Proto Man. Um, I'm obsessed, uh, and I, I, I was obsessed a long time ago, uh, but then I kind of got out of it because I wasn't I I wasn't really big into Mega Man for a while. Like I got really big into it, and then I kind of just like dropped out of that whole thing. Uh, but now I'm back into that, and and Proto Man is just like he's such a cool character, but he doesn't have that major amount of a story to him. And uh, so the other day I was on YouTube just looking up like Proto Man theme remixes, and there was like only one. I just kept listening to it like over and over and over again, and I realized that. Like, halfway through listening like it for the fourth time, I was like, wait, I've kind of heard this, like, way too many times before. And then, all of a sudden, I realized there was a band. I clicked in, like, the latest video section. A band called the Proto Men. And I clicked on it, and I was listening to their music, and they're amazing. I, I love it. It's like, one of, it's like a, it's like an epic rock opera, kind of. I don't mean that in the sense, like, oh, epic, dude, lead and epic, Yeah. I mean that in, like, the actual sense of, like, the genre epic. That's kind of, like, it's, I mean, it's somewhat like an ep uh, not somewhat like an epic, somewhat like a genre of music, I guess, like, epic kind of music, like, that big, like, thunders kind of thing, like, you know, like, poems and stories can be considered an, an epic, 
I guess you can consider this the same way. Uh, but they're really good, and I'm kind of a sucker for uh, kind of a sucker for bands that like their songs tell a story. I um, well, like Coheed and Cambria is probably my uh, favorite band, if not my. It's either at least, it's either my second favorite or my favorite. It's a tie between Blink One Eighty Two. Very different types of music, by the way. I like jazz, and then I like stuff like Coheed and Cambria, and then I still like like punk rock, like Blink One Eighty Two. So. Weird set of genre, but uh, that's all the time I really have for. I'll get more into the Proto Men in the next episode. I'll put the link to their website if you want to check them out uh, this episode, and I'll put it in the next episode. Uh, so, I mean, before I can even really get into them, because I mean, most of you won't, I guess, know about them, because I think they're kind of small. Uh, but still, so, I thank you guys for watching, and it's glad to uh, put these back up. I'll see you guys in the next episode. Adios.